start this video off with the fact that resources are not equally productive in all activities and that is intuitive in, in any logical case and that is what cause uh, what causes the PPF to bow outward to have a concave like what we have here it's a nice uh, curve but I didn't really draw it well but it's nice curve that bows outward now what this means is it means that when the quantity produced of each good increases so does its opportunity cost so when we produce more burgers and, or if we produce more bars then uh, its opportunity cost will also increase and that's uh, where I'm going to stop talking about that and continue on to opportunity cost as a ratio but uh, yeah, I did teach I did teach this to you and you do know it, but it's not really potentially example um, example concept in my in my perspective. So just keep this in the edge of your mind. But today we're gonna talk about opportunity cost as a ratio, and uh, and you probably I probably didn't show this to you yet. I did in another video, uh, which is in my macroeconomic series. If you haven't already, you could check that out. But uh, here I introduce you this ratio again, which is opportunity cost equals the decrease of one good uh, over the increase of another good. And the opportunity cost of making an additional bar equals the inverse of an additional burger made. So let's just do uh, Let's just do this example. So remember in our last video, um, let's see, to, in, to increase burgers, that cost is five bars. So the opportunity cost of a burger, opportunity cost of a burger, well, so the opportunity cost of burger to make one extra burger, what do we have to give up? Well, to make one extra burger, we do have a why well, won't this equal sign stay here? To the opportunity cost of burger to make one more burger, we have to decrease uh, the the supply of another good, and that is the bar. So we know from the last video that one burger costs five bars. So we decrease five bars of five uh, five units of the other good, which is the five bars, and we increase one unit of uh, of our of our, the good in uh, the good in focus which is our burger so our opportunity cost of the burger is five now the opportunity cost of of the opportunity of a burger is five bars right just forgot the units so the opportunity cost of a bar is the exact same thing what we give up is we give up um, we give up one burger that's the decrease of the other good, decrease of one good, which is the one burger, and we increased the quantity produced of our energy bars. And we know that uh, one bar cost or uh, one burger causes five bars. So when we decrease one burger, that means we can produce five more bars. So that is the opportunity cost of bar, which is one over five burgers. Now you can see here that. Um, that the, the inverse concept is true. So the opportunity cost of making an additional bar equals the inverse of uh, an additional burger made because the inverse is pretty much taking um, taking numbers and flipping them uh, flipping them over and this is pretty elementary. So five would be five over one. So the opportunity cost of bar is simply the inverse of the burger, which where we flipped uh, five and one, so one is on top and five is on bottom, and that would be the concept of opportunity cost as a ratio. So I hope I made this uh, video clear enough to understand. And uh, if you haven't already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.